hey guys. Um, I think I've finished my meal planning. Um, I may make a few minor adjustments yet, but uh, uh, I have planned for my eight day backpacking trip. Um, I have, as you can see in front of us here, I have uh, seven packages, seven days worth of food. And uh, even though it's an eight day trip, two of the days are half days. So, um, so this should cover it. And I think I may have a little extra food here uh, to carry over day to day. So I think I'll be good. I have enough, uh, I think I have enough calories. Now, um, on that note, uh, the distances that I'm covering on these days are very uh, short. Uh, most days are only four kilometers. And uh, I do have a six and an eight uh, kilometer day. So I'm, that's the adjustments I might need to make. I might add a few more things in those bags. But I thought I'd share with you what I've done, share with you what I've learned. Uh, and there's a couple of things that I'm having problems with that I have to figure out, but I will uh, present you where I am right now. So um, these, these things are all almost um, uh, identical. Um, I do have an awful lot of Ziploc bags. Um, that could be a weight issue. <laughs> but um, let's take a look at one of these. So in each day's package, I have a, um, a dehydrated meal, uh, whether it be Mountain House or Alpine Air or um, what else do I have? Backpacker, Backpacker's Pantry. Um, I have one of these. I like a nice hearty meal at the end of the day uh, whenever I go hiking. So um, I like a full meal and on that note everything here is based on boiling water. Uh, I don't like cooking when I'm out in the bush. Uh, I prefer to rehydrate and finger food. So um, we're really talking about uh, all dehydrated food. Now within each bag, I have a dinner, I have a breakfast, and I have a daytime. I'll call that a daytime because it's not really lunch. And I'll explain that in a second. Uh, to start with, for breakfast, I will typically have, take all this out here, I will typically have two packages of Quaker oatmeal and two uh, cups of coffee and I love this uh, for the trail I love this Nescafe it's a three-in-one it's got the cream and sugar um, powdered cream and sugar in there so um, almost every day is the same I'm not a big breakfast person but I do realize I need some calories uh, if I'm gonna hike so uh, this is 460 calories to start my day with Jumping right to dinner, um, these meals vary in, in calories. This one I think is the, the highest calorie content and uh, it is uh, 640 calories for this bag. Now they say these serve two people. Um, no, I eat the whole thing. So uh, 640 calories I think is pretty good for dinner for me. So uh, some of them go, I think they go from 500 to well, 640. There may be some that might be higher than this. I didn't check. Now, for daytime, I don't like stopping at lunch to set up a big production of um, um, boiling water or making a fire. I prefer to just snack during the day and um, um, and then in the evening sometimes a little bit of a snack after, after the dinner sometime. So what I do is I just put a bunch of stuff together and it's basically everything that um, is not breakfast or dinner. So if we have a look at this, um, the most significant pieces um, of this meal or this, this food is a, a trail mix, uh, Sierra Trail Mix Cliff Bar. I have some different flavors in there. So that's 250 calories. I also have some of these little hot rods here. Um, they were on sale. I think typically I would probably prefer beef jerky or something like that, but 
I just thought I'd give it a try. A couple of sticks. Um, I have a small package of almonds. I have these very addictive Brookside um, dark chocolate with uh, blueberry and there's some other flavors in there as well, pomegranate and such. Love these. And then I will either have a soup, a cup of soup that I can just uh, cook up um, if I really want to. This is the thing that's likely to carry over because I, I may not stop to cook anything or boil any water. And then in the evening I have some uh, lemon ginger caffeine free tea, herbal tea for um, just around the campfire I guess. So the only thing that's not here that I will add just prior to packing up is I have some Baby Bell uh, cheese that I will add to these packages. Uh, the Baby Bells keep really well and I may not keep, I may not put some for day six, seven, eight, but I certainly will have some for the first few days. So when I look at all this, uh, this uh, alone is approximately uh, 900 calories for the lunch stuff, for the daytime snacks. Uh, that's a lot of calories. It doesn't look like much, but it's a lot of calories. And for the whole day, for this particular day, um, I'm looking at about 1900 to 1950 calories for, um, for a male uh, my age. That should be enough. Uh, my days are not long enough to warrant, you know, look really loading up on calories. So I'm going to try to keep it uh, pretty reasonable. Matter of fact, I wouldn't mind dropping a couple. So, um, so this is this is what I planned. I, everyone is is very similar. I also bring these out on the trail with me. I absolutely love these. These are um, Nun uh, tablets. They go in your water, and um, I think they have a little bit of uh, caffeine and a little bit of energy. It's like a little, an energy drink of sorts, I guess. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but they're very tasty and, and they really pep things up um, when you're uh, trying to rehydrate. Now, with these meals and the way that I've done things, um, I'm not super experienced, so I've already made a few mistakes uh, that I need to figure out. Uh, the first mistake is I'm using an awful lot of prepackaged um, products, and in doing so, um, I'm also packing a lot of air. Um, I've put this into my dry bag, I've tried to squeeze it down, uh, but it just won't because there's certain packages that are airtight, they just won't, uh, won't be able to take the air out of. So what happens is this takes up an awful lot of space in my pack, a lot more than it needs to. Um, it's not so much a weight issue as it is uh, physical dimensions. So. I think I'm going to have to go through all this and repackage some of these items uh, together, particularly things like these and these types of items. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do, but I will have to figure out a way to uh, get rid of, you know, I'm using an awful lot of Ziploc bags. Uh, I think maybe I need to get rid of some Ziplocs because they carry some air as well. So I'll figure that out. Uh, bottom line is, I should be able to get this down into a fairly reasonable size if I work away at it. So, uh, if you have any comments or questions, um, uh, please uh, put them down below. Um, I'd love, I'd love some feedback. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm learning and uh, I've done some research, but at the same time, I tend to try to do things on my own too. And, and I've already figured out <laughs> one area where I need to fix. So um, I'm going to be doing a few other uh, components for this trip. So please uh, have a look at those as well. Uh, thank you.